Berlin, and uh, I'm with Nebulas. Uh, first of all, could you tell me about the history behind Nebulas? The history, this came from the ashes of uh, my old black metal band that I used to play before. It's called Hedraxon, and it was uh, like uh, 19, 20 years ago. So I started Nebulan, Nebulas as a solo project. And uh, no, no, another, no other musician was involved. It was just me. And then I got just. It was in late of 2000 or the beginning of 2001, when when the most of the music from the first album debut were, were written. And back then I was just already composing music. And and then I came to the studio in the year 2003 for recording drums. So I had some recordings on session drummers because I'm no I can't play drums so that's why and I came to the studio in the year 2003 recording already starting with the recording of the first album just on drums and yeah it was in the year 2003 and 2004 then I keep all the drums um it was in I was not able to complete the entire album, so I keep all the drum phase and then when I moved to Europe to Germany I went to a studio and then I record all the rest, like the old guitar and voices and and it was mixed and in in different studios in like in, in Sweden by Dan Swano and mixed by also by Arthur Risk in Philadelphia, North America. Okay, you mentioned some uh, or one band from your past. So, what kind of bands have you played in before? Oh, the first band it was in the beginning of the tolls and was hit tracks and and for during three years and we released our first album debut. Yeah, uh, was called Flying Across the Misty Garden, and then another project called Tempestaris. On which we have two albums released from Tempestaris. And right now uh, I have re recorded my second Nebulous album. It's called In the Abolish Cycle of Time. So we are just waiting for uh, to be released, uh, record labels, and, and that's it. Yeah, like a, at, at least three. I have a three, four band project because I have another. Uh, project, uh, music project called uh, Email Land, you know, I have just one, one EP uh, already released, you know, yeah. And what kind of bands were they, your former projects, were they all black metal bands? Or? So all into black metal, yeah, black metal and Email Land is like, and Tempest, uh, Tempestad is like black metal, Pang and metal, uh, very old school, very uh, good sound and, and and very inspired by the the old Norwegian black metal. Mm? It's a very old recording too because we start in the year two thousand two recording the the first album debut from Temp from Tempest Studies, and so the the music is quite old. You know. Okay, and uh, back to Nebulas. Uh, what was the original idea or ideas that were behind? Uh, just to, I was really inspired by the old Norwegian black metal, like the old, let's say the old Emperor Bursum, Immortal, uh, Mayhem. So when I listen to those albums, it's like it blow my my mind, you know. Uh, so it was to, like I found the key of what I really wanted to do for music and and decide to play black metal because actually uh, when I started listening to metal music was back then was not black metal you know it was just heavy metal because uh, my first band were Ozzy Osbourne, Slayer, King Diamond you know I'm talking about the beginning of the 89 you know so but uh, years later, like uh, in the middle of the nineties, uh, when I when I discover the black metal, when I listen to black metal the first time, is uh, it's really uh, I like it a lot. It's difficult to describe. It's just uh, I felt like totally rough, you know. So 
and then I decide just to play black metal and uh, yeah um, and it was more it was easier to play but black metal is I decide like it become to be my favorite music until now okay and uh, what does black metal mean to you nowadays nowadays oh it's still but it's still I'm more into the old uh, stuff uh, there's a lot of I really had to update my myself there's a lot of black metal music that I haven't I haven't listened but uh, that they don't really I don't really like the sound but not all of them I, I have listened to many black metal brands from over the world from Spain France uh, Poland which are really really good you know and still I like the old sound you know and really still into the the old Norwegian or Swedish black metal you know the new stuff or the new sound I, I don't really like it you know sound too different too plastic I'm more I like more I'm more into this organic sound you know this is why the black metal of today there is no so much they can offer you know except for those bands that I named before from Poland and France or, or Spain that I, I, I've listened to really really good but but it's still black metal is my my kind of music that I'm listening to uh, does it uh, or black metal does it hold some other meaning to you or is it just music is there some spiritual meaning to you yeah black metal it uh, also means uh, style of life it's not just the music it's just the style of life you know and, and i like it so many people they are really into occultism you know you can go in that direction uh against humanity as well um again uh, we are not tolerant at all this is, this is really important for us we are not really tolerant people and uh, we have a certain uh, point of view uh, point of view you know the, and it made us to to choice our own kind of life you know uh, we are really close to nature and and things like that and mystic uh, uh, art you know uh, yeah are your concerts are they uh more like those uh like uh, angry headbanging style or is it more like uh more like uh, atmospheric and spiritual gigs no you... it's spiritual no mm. um like uh we don't like to make spiritual things and not using so much uh theater or things like that which is really important we are really basic in that way so we we use pen core uh, we use the you know and not so much light uh, i like the stage with the fog yeah um but we are we are really basic and you know uh, not using so much stuff on the stage for theater and things like that yeah. we are more simple a little bit more simple like a like it was back then you know okay and um, can you tell me uh, what kind of scene uh, is there uh, back home in chile uh, it really is a country really into metal, you know, they, well, the people, they are really into black and death and heavy metal, you know. It began in the 80s, the beginning of the 80s, you know, they just, they, they grab everything what is sounding today. And, and yes, they said the metal scene is big enough. There's a very, a lot of good bands, also death metal, black metal, but it's, you don't, you don't get up it depends how seriously you, you take the, the music if you really want to take it seriously as i did you had to move out you know uh, as i did so this is the only way how it worked uh, but if you stay there 
in Chile, you never, never, you, you, you are gonna go out from this, uh, from, from, from that country, and, and you, you were not growing up, you know, you know. Yeah, it's unfortunately it's like this. There is South America that is not support, and the state doesn't support metal music. No, never. You know. Uh, okay, and lastly about the uh, well, coronavirus that is uh, affecting everybody right now. But uh, like, what are your thoughts as uh, black metal artists? What are your thoughts on the coronavirus and what's uh, happening right now in the world? And second of and secondly, uh, how is it affecting uh, artists at the moment? I think, uh, the first of all, it uh, was a human deserve. <laughs> I think deserve, we deserve it, you know, because it's our fault. And people right now, they are really under panic outside. And we had to take it easy, but just to avoid contact with people and going outside. So it's what I do. I try to just to be at home and we were having our first gig uh, here in Berlin the 25th of April, but uh, probably it might be cancelled to a, to a coronavirus. And, and yeah, so let's see uh, what is going to happen maybe in the new, near future, uh, maybe in the next week and in a couple of two weeks. I don't know. But now, as the economy uh, will be shut down, the economy, a, a lot of things festival concert so i'm not expecting this year to do so much uh, for for music you know i had to release my second Neville's album it might be not able for this year probably or i had to wait maybe until summer you know i had to wait a very probably a long time you know uh, let's see so yeah okay thank you very much thanks